today we will be finding out weird but genius things in Finnish student apartments by the channel of the name Road to Finnish. I'm gonna subscribe because it says Finnish right here. <laughs> okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Still awesome things about Finnish homes and specifically Finnish student apartments. Why is the quality so low? What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time we are meeting, my name is Oliver and I'm a master's student in economics at Aalto University here in Finland. And on this channel we talk about education and early career development, specifically here in Finland. So if you are new here, do consider subscribing. So while the example in this video is a student apartment, uh, many of the things that I'm going to show in this video actually apply to Finnish homes in general, especially when we're talking about more modern and new buildings. Anyways, let's go check them out. So the first thing about Finnish homes that a lot of international people wonder about are actually the windows. So in Finland, windows. basically every single building has at least double glazing, while some might even have triple glazing, meaning what? that you have at least two or three uh, window panes in the window itself. For example, here we have wow. two different uh, window panes insulating the room from outside. That's so the biggest amazing. reason here is actually insulation, because in the winter when it's really cold, the double glazing makes sure that our homes stay warm. However, mm. in addition to the heat insulation, as you can actually hear, the double glazing also works as really good sound insulation, meaning mm. that with a good set of double That's windows, amazing. you can actually barely hear the sound from the street below. If we actually test this for an example, the window is open, and the window is closed. Wow, so actually, bro, what? That's amazing. I want that window too. Actually, a similar thing is happening with our wow. doors as well. So it's really mm. common in Finnish apartment buildings to actually yeah, have double that. doors. Uh, the light is absolutely terrible. But so it's normal to have double doors. Uh, again, not only do the, does this help with the uh, heat insulation, but more, more importantly, this actually helps with soundproofing the apartment. And this makes a mm. huge difference when you think about... Yes, Upi might need uh, an apartment like that. <laughs> voices coming from the corridor inside to your apartment. Uh, second thing, actually a funny thing that I heard from a, an international friend of mine about the door, double doors is that actually that also prevents people from peeking through the mail, mail slots or boxes that we have. Uh, that is actually something that he said that he really likes because in their home country that is actually uh, possible to peek, peek through. But yeah, so double doors basically. Mm. And the second thing that you really need to understand about the doors in Finland, how they work, is the locks, how the locks work. And I know that this might sound really funny, but I've heard way too many stories of internationals, uh, especially students. It's okay, I already watched the video how to learn to open a door, so you can go and check it out. <laughs> it was pretty difficult. Getting locked outside of their apartment because they did not know about this. So in Finland, when you actually close a door behind you, the door actually locks itself. So you don't have to turn or you actually cannot, mm. in some cases, turn a key to actually lock the door. Rather, the door will automatically lock behind you. So it's really important to have your keys with you every time you leave the apartment and close the door behind you. So while we're talking about doors and locks, it's also good to mention what kind of keys we actually use in Finland. So this only applies to buildings that have these modern electric locks. However, for example, in this building, we use these kind of smart electric uh, keys oh. that are really, really cool. So how these work is that these are actually coded to work with specific doors in your building. So you basically need just one key for all the different doors that you, you can actually have access to. So also how this That's works is cool. that when you actually move out from your apartment, you will return the key to your landlord, who will then repurpose by recoding the key to work for wow. the next tenant. But yeah, this is really cool because you basically just need one key for the entire building instead of, you know... I guess it's even cheaper than uh, get copies of the key, right? Having one for the outer door, for your own door, then one for the storage room, etc. So yeah, these are awesome. 
All right, so the next thing applies specifically to a lot of student apartments in Finland, and that is that most student apartments actually do not have a dishwasher pre-installed. In my experience, no. only large shared student apartments might have a dishwasher, but in general, this is very rare. So that if you really sad. don't want to wash your dishes by hand, you have to buy a dishwasher yourself. And actually talking about this, an additional note that applies to all apartments in Finland is that if you buy a dishwasher, you also have to hire a professional plumber to install it in your apartment. So why this is so important is that... Okay, that's too much work, I'll just wash my dishes. <laughs> if you install the machine yourself and it leaks, your insurance company will not cover any of the damages caused oh. by the leaking. So do you wow. know that appliance stores usually sell the installation as an additional service and it costs like 20 to 50 euros depending on the store. So I really recommend that you don't skimp here, but simply pay the extra money for the delivery and installation so that you don't have to worry about this at all. So because a lot of apartments, especially, you know, student apartments don't have dishwashers, we of course have to wash our dishes by hand. And because of course you don't want to have all of your dishes drying on the counter because it's all messy and yucky, basically this Finnish invention saves all the trouble. So basically what this is, is a yeah, drying rack for your dishes. And this is something that basically every single Finnish household has pre-installed in their kitchens. The way this simply works is that you have the dishes drying here in the cabinet out of sight out of mind and the water will drip directly into the sink making everything much more tidier and nicer uh, compared to if you had actually all the dishes drying here on the counter and spreading mm. the water all over the place all right next let's actually move into the washing room and check out what kind of things we have there in normal Finnish households so in Finland, it's actually quite normal for people not to buy a drying machine in addition to their washing machines. So unless you have a large apartment with a very large bathroom, I feel like only in America they they're using the drying machine, right? I feel like everyone in Europe actually uses the what's its name the the X to dry the clothes on. Yeah, you just need a washing machine. I don't know or a dedicated laundry room, a lot of the times we don't actually have enough space here to have a tower installed. Rather, people usually air dry their clothes mm. using drying racks. So oh, these kind racks. of drying racks are super common That's in Finnish households. Cool. And while they do take a bit of space and it takes a bit of manual work to, to set everything to dry, <laughs> these actually have some really cool benefits to them as well. Oh, this one is so small. What the hell? It's really small. <laughs> Why doesn't it have the, the, the same part there in here? The best of them being that drying like this actually expands the lifespan of your clothes because this is much more delicate than, for example, spinning your clothes in a dryer, you know, oh, hundreds and hundreds had no of times. Idea. So talking about laundry, the next awesome thing about Finnish apartment buildings is the growing use of shared laundry rooms. So using oh, a common laundry wow. room has its pros and cons. First, this naturally saves you quite a bit of money because you don't have to buy a washing machine nor a dryer because these laundry rooms usually have dedicated dryers that you can use. Second, this will naturally save you some money in water and electricity costs because of the cost of the laundry rooms is already taken into account in your rent. Uh what? That is so cool! Bro, are you kidding me? Wow! That's amazing. I love that. But finally, using a common laundry room naturally saves quite a wow. bit of space in your... I don't think that exists in Italy. I don't know. I live in a small city, so I wouldn't know this stuff. Let me know. Have you ever been... Have you ever lived in Italy and you have seen this one? I've never seen this. I see... You see it only in the American shows. But in the American shows, they always have... You see, always they bring uh, their own detergent and everything. So... That's crazy that it says that it's everything included. Apartment. However, there are also a couple of cons about these common spaces as well. First of all, if you have a very sensitive skin and you can't use any kind of softeners or scented detergents, using these common laundry machines might actually not be suitable. This is because they are used by a lot of people in your building and there is always some residue left from other people's detergents and that might actually become oh. a problem if you have a very sensitive skin. A second okay. con would of course be that you can't wash your clothes whenever you want because you you have to first reserve a machine for a certain time slot and those oh. might not always be available when you need them. Anyways, for okay. the next thing we need to take the elevator upstairs. I like this 
video, I like this video, it's very thorough with all the pros and cons of each thing rather than other YouTubers that only just show you, this is weird, this is something that you never see in other countries, this is it, this is that. This one is really, it's really on point, you know, you can definitely tell that he's a student and he wants to do everything in a certain manner, very specific, I like it. Go ahead and check it out guys, Road to Finish, let's continue now. Wow. <laughs> All right, so the next thing on this list is something super important and it's something that you can find in every single Finnish apartment building and that is of course the sauna. Sauna. So saunas are a super important part of the Finnish culture and we have almost 2 million saunas for a population of about 5.3 million people. So the basic concept of sauna is super simple. So all saunas have a basket of rocks that are heated by a wooden or in this case an electric stove. When you throw water on top of the warm rocks you increase the humidity in the room and uh, this is what we call lulu and the steam that this lulu. generates increases the feeling of heat and it makes you sweat. This also makes you feel extremely relaxed and it's almost like a purifying uh, experience. That makes you also lose weight, right? So again, as with many other things on this list, how and where a sauna in your building has been built depends on the age of the building. In many old buildings, especially in the city, saunas are usually built in the underground areas and many of them actually double as bomb shelters. However, what I think is awesome is that in many modern buildings like this one, uh, we have the sauna on the rooftop just like this. So this is actually brilliant because not only do you get a terrace where you can actually cool off between Lulu, but the atmosphere is just out of this world. And of course, this also functions as a great terrace during the summer. So before any Finns watching this start writing angry comments about this being an expensive area and that rooftop saunas are still rare, yes, that is true. The area where this student building resides is pretty much brand new, but it also represents a new way of building and utilizing space. And these kind of facilities are built more all the time. Again, how this works is that we basically have the sauna behind these windows and then we have this awesome massive rooftop terrace where we can actually come and cool off between load. Before we continue to the next That's section of amazing. this video, let me just stop for a second to thank HOAS for their continuous support with this channel. So HOAS, or the Foundation for Student Housing in the Helsinki region, is a non-profit foundation that rents, builds and maintains housing for students in the Helsinki metropolitan area. I've been living in their apartments throughout my studies and I really recommend that you apply for one of their almost 10,000 student apartments in the Helsinki region. More information about HOAS and their apartments through the links in the description box below. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is that in Finland we like to recycle as much oh. as we can. In older and say normal apartment buildings you would have different recycling bins at minimum for mixed bio, cardboard, glass and metal. However, nowadays it's also really common that apartment buildings also separate their plastics as many buildings have a separate bin for those as well. So normally you would have a kind of a shed where you have all the waste bins together. However, we live in a new residential area that has been built only after 2012. And this area is actually a testing ground for this really cool new waste disposal system called Röri. This entire massive residential area uses these kind of pipes that you can use to recycle all, all your trash. So these pipes actually have oh, suction. That's crazy. And With that key you can basically do anything. Wow, that is so cool. They lead to a single centralized waste processing space where the garbage truck goes wow. to collect them. This means that we have no bins, meaning that the yards are much cleaner and we don't have any problems with overflowing bins because a truck is laid or something like That's that. Amazing. So this is really cool and it's already implemented in a multiple new residential areas in the Helsinki region. Also since these pipes and bins that you would normally have do not necessarily have individual units for things like glass, metal or large waste, Many residential areas also have these separate recycling containers where you can drop off 
most of the things that you cannot recycle or dispose in your building itself. Also, since none of these uh, collection bins or uh, containers have bins for hazardous materials like batteries, nail polish, bottles or similar items, there are separate recycling systems for them as well. For example, it is pretty common nowadays that electronic stores have a recycling service where you can simply drop off your old electronics without any charge and they will take care of the recycling for you. Bro, that is so cool. So most apartment buildings in Finland have what we call häkkivarasto, that you could roughly translate as mm. cage storage. So what this means is that we have these small... This is kind of like a basement. ...storage spaces that each household has and where you can store basically whatever you want. Still, yeah, it's kind of like our basements. My basement doesn't look that good <laughs> at all. I can show you someday, it doesn't look good at all. Couple of things to keep in mind. First, you need to get your own lock into the doors. And second, these cages very rarely have electric sockets, so you cannot have anything that uh, needs to draw electricity in these spaces. So many older buildings in Finland have these uh, storage rooms underground or at the attic. So usually if the storage is in the attic, these spaces are actually oh, not heated. So you need to take that into account when you think about what kind of things you want to store here. However, more and more of the new buildings in Finland have these uh, storage spaces on the street level, which is great because it's really convenient when you, for example, move in or out because the door opens directly to the street where you can pack the car or, mm. for example, a van. All right, so the next awesome thing is actually behind this door. And as you can see from the bicycle icon, storage. this is actually a bicycle storage. Wow, Again, so as with the bikes. previous storage rooms, these uh, bicycle storage rooms have traditionally been built underground so that they don't take any of the expensive ground level space that could be occupied, for example, by a cafe or something else. However, nowadays we see more and more of these on the street level, which again is awesome because it makes using this space and your bicycle super easy. These storage spaces are great not only because you can store your bike inside during the winter, but also because it's a great way to store your more expensive bikes inside, preventing them from being stolen from the street. Yeah, so as you can see, there are a lot of really cool, but maybe weird things that we do in Finland, especially with newer and more modern apartment buildings. I know that these are still pretty rare and not all buildings are like this, so I'd love to hear about your experience mm. with Finnish homes. Personally, what do you find interesting or odd about Finnish homes and which of these solutions would you like to see in your home country? Next up, I recommend that you watch this video and go through this entire playlist where I talk about things that wow. you need to know about Finland. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. That's interesting. Five weird things you must know about Finnish people. Maybe we'll be checking that out uh, next. That was really an incredible video. I mean, yes, that's a modern building, so of course everything looks cooler. But it was really nice. It was really, really, really nice, especially that basement, bro. Usually basements look so shitty and shady. <laughs> But yeah, that was really cool. Even the sauna, that you got the terrace to cool off. Uh, my God, that is really, really cool. And the apartment in itself, it was really nice as well. I really like the, the old recycling stuff that they got there. It was really, really cool, you know. I think that's something that uh, could be implemented here in Italy as well. Even though we do all recycling, but we always have the old school like a carton box, the card box, then we have the, the all different beans where you throw the stuff. And yeah, that's, that's kind of annoying. Sometimes they even smell. Even if, if I have a balcony, so I just throw them there, but still, sometimes they smell, so it's not the best. So this was really cool. Hope you did enjoy this reaction. Guys, let me know what you want me to check out next. Let me know what kind of feature did you like the most? The, what do you want to be implemented in your own building or your own house and yeah keep on recommending me stuff to check out wish you all a lovely sunday and see you very soon